Out for the count. Look at him. Not a clue what's going on. It's a blessing he's too young to understand. What? Too young to remember his own mum if she doesn't make it? No decent memories before she's ripped away? I didn't mean it like that. No? Well, I was a baby when my mum was killed, remember? And it stinks. I mean, people feel sorry for you all the time, only knowing half of who you are. Well, you pack it in, acting like Rebecca's already died. She's gonna get through this, she has to. And there is no way that she's gonna leave her son behind. Let's hope you're right, love. How is she? As my colleagues explained to her nephew, we managed to stabilise her briefly after a transfusion. She's still unconscious, however, which leads me to suspect there might be an internal bleed we haven't located. She's been prepped for a CT scan. It should tell us a lot more. And in normal person speak? She's still critical. I'm sorry. I promise we're doing our very best for her, though. Of course you are. Thank you. Robert. Robert, you heard her. They're looking after her. No, I heard internal bleeding. I can't believe I let this happen. What are you on about? What could you have done? Not listen to you when you backed me up over taking Seb. You're not serious. I told you to think about it properly. Yeah, we're not loud enough. I mean, it was a crazy idea in the first place. I, you should have realised I was too angry and upset to, to be thinking straight. I was trying to support you. Yeah? Well, look how well that's worked out. He doesn't mean a word, love. Yeah, I know, okay. I, I was out of line. Luckily, your sister's not daft enough to think you meant it. You're scared for your son, Robert. Who wouldn't be? Little Seb's not the only one who needs his mother. I just... I can't figure out how it happened. Accidents happen every day. Yeah, accidents. Only this... One minute Chrissy's following me and then the next it was like she just swerved into an oncoming truck. You know, when I found him with her after she... He was saying he was sorry. Proper state he was in. Wouldn't you be? She was his mother. It was the way that he was saying it. It was like it was his fault. You do realise how crazy all this sounds. The poor lad's just lost practically his entire family and you're suggesting... Well, I don't really know what you're suggesting. It doesn't sit easy with me either. When I saw him with her, the way he looked at Chrissy afterwards, I think he did something. I think he might have caused the accident. 